What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We have the first official teaser trailer for Captain America Brave New World and they showed us Red Hulk. They teased us with the Red Hulk. I didn't think they actually would, but at the end of the trailer, they did indeed show it to us. Now, right away, please let me know what you thought about this trailer in the comments down below. I know this movie has been talked about a lot because it's had just so many reshoots. I know a lot of people are worried about this movie because of all the script rewrites, because of all the reshoots, but I've stated this several times. I think this is actually a good thing. I think it's great that Marvel decided to reevaluate it multiple times and they didn't try to stick to their deadline of the release date that they had and they looked at it and they said we can make it better so let's push it back several times and try to make it better try to tie it in a little bit more with the MCU because there is a lot in this movie that is supposed to tie to the overall MCU for example we're supposed to get kind of the new Avengers team forming in this movie characters like our actual Hulk are supposed to show up Mark Ruffalo's Hulk plus more Avengers characters which of course we'll break down in this video but let me know what did you think of this trailer are you excited for it or not now right away when this trailer starts off we see Sam Wilson going into the White House and he meets President Ross and they do a good job at kind of catching you up with a few things right away here in the beginning one is that Thunderbolt Ross Thaddeus Ross who we have seen plenty of times throughout the entirety of the MCU is now president now if you remember last time in Secret Invasion we had a different president, but it obviously seems like the way he handled the scroll and everything happening there didn't really go down so well with the public. So we have a new president now. Thunderbolt Ross ran and he won, which makes sense. He's been a military leader for a very long time. However, the public probably doesn't know about all the shady stuff he's done, but that is definitely going to come into play in this movie. Another thing that they mention is his mustache. Thunderbolt Ross has always had a mustache in the MCU. Sam says he's still getting used to the new look and then the president president says they told me to lose my mustache or lose the election and basically what this is doing right here is them slightly addressing the fact that now Thunderbolt Ross is being played by Harrison Ford unfortunately very sadly William Hurt who played Ross in the past he has passed away so now Harrison Ford will be playing Thunderbolt Ross and he will be the Red Hulk which we'll get into in just a bit of course so Sam is meeting with the president of the United States and what's really interesting is that they actually showed this scene at CinemaCon so we know a little bit more about it than the they're actually telling us. So based off of what they've shown us here in the trailer and what they showed at CinemaCon, we know that Sam Wilson just recently did a mission for President Ross where he went to Japan and got a very rare material for him. And from what we understand, it sounds like this very rare material is adamantium. Most of you know what adamantium is because that is what Wolverine's claws are made out of. Adamantium is said to absorb radiation. So one could see how it would be very useful for Thunderbolt Ross because he has been attempting to recreate the super soldier serum that Steve Rogers was given for a while. And in that process, of course, came Hulk and what we are assuming is his Red Hulk. So President Ross calls in Sam Wilson to basically thank him on the job that he did, retrieving this very rare and precious material. And then he tells him that he wants Captain America to be an official part of the military again. And based off of what we've heard was shown for the CinemaCon footage, it sounds like Thunderbolt Ross wants him to put together a new Avengers team as well, with Captain America, of course, leading them. But of course, they do a lot of foreshadowing here where Sam Wilson says, and what if you and I basically don't agree on how to manage a situation? Because remember, Thunderbolt Ross was the person in the past who passed the Sokovia Accords, and he basically made outlaws of half of the Avengers team that chose to go on the run. Captain America, Sam Wilson, Black Widow, etc. So yeah, big disagreements in the past. Plus, not to mention in Civil War, he did put half of the Avengers in jail. Of course, they were broken out and then were fugitives, but of course, after Avengers Endgame, where the Avengers saved the universe, the Sokovia Accords went away, and now all of a sudden, everybody who was once wanted is now heroes. And I guess Thunder Thunderbolt Ross, now that he's the president, is like, hey, Sam, that was no big deal, right? Like, I didn't just throw you in jail, make you a wanted fugitive. You were on the run. Like, that's all fine. That's cool. We're good now, right? Start the new Avengers. There's no way I'm up to something shady. Now, here's something that is really interesting about some of these scenes that play a lot during the beginning and some other ones throughout the rest of the trailer. We see a lot of battleships in the water and we see Captain America flying around them. We also see fighter jets in the air. And if you notice and you go 
go slowly through these scenes, this is Tiamat. Remember the big giant celestial that was coming out of Earth in the Eternals, which Cersei defeated and is now simply just sticking out of the Earth? We are finally going to address that. We've went a very long time since the Eternals without the MCU ever really addressing the fact that they have just this giant god sticking out of the middle of the Earth. Now, something else that we've heard is that the material that the celestial is made out of, or materials inside of it, could also actually be made out of adamantium. That's what we first heard before we heard that Captain America got the adamantium from Japan, but perhaps the Japanese got it from Tiamat. Because clearly there is a big battle happening around Tiamat in the trailer. We see many scenes of this. So this could be Captain America acting on behalf of the United States, acting on behalf of orders from President Ross to try and basically get control over Tiamat so the US can get this precious material. Because this is kind of made to look like a big climax of the movie here. However, However, we know what the big climax is going to be. President Ross turning into Red Hulk, which they show at the end of this, and then him going face to face, toe to toe with Captain America. So I think this is just a mission that Thunderbolt Ross sends Captain America on, and I think he is successful at this. So President Ross speaks with Sam Wilson's Captain America, but then he goes to a rally in which Captain America and Joaquin Torres, who is now going to be the Falcon of the MCU, and Isaiah Bradley, if you remember him from the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. During the Korean War, he was unwillingly subjected to human testings of the super soldier serum. So he is a super soldier. So the three of them are there attending President Ross's rally when music starts to play over the speaker system, which activates sleeper agents. And that activates Isaiah Bradley as well. This is much like how it was with Bucky when they said the phrase that activated him, he became the winter soldier. It's the same thing with Isaiah Bradley. The music plays and it activates the sleeper agent within him. And from what we've learned from the CinemaCon footage, it's the leader who is behind this. Tim Blake Nelson is returning and he will be playing the leader in this film. If you recall in The Incredible Hulk, he did get mixed up with some Hulk blood and we don't know too much about this character yet, but what we do know is that a main point of this movie is still going to be about the super soldier serum trying to recreate it and how other Hulks are being formed and this will actually go on to set up a solo Hulk film. At least that is what we've heard. It's going to be somewhat of an adaptation of World War Hulk with the story not really being the same, but the World War Hulk referring to multiple Hulks fighting it out, and apparently that's supposed to come from this movie. So the leader is going to end up being one of the villains if he is in cahoots with Thunderbolt Ross. We don't know at this point in time, but it would make sense considering how Ross turns into Red Hulk. And they do kind of seem to allude at this because after Isaiah Bradley is essentially activated, we have a scene where Sam Wilson is telling Thunderbolt Ross, your inner circle is compromised and you either can't see it or you don't want to. And I'm thinking it's the, he does see it, but he's actually kind of a villain. He's working with the leader and he doesn't want Sam to know that because after this scene they immediately show us what seems to be the leader's base where he has been conducting experiments because remember a big part of this is still about the super soldier serum and that's even really heavily emphasized in the one scene where President Ross tells Sam Wilson you're not Steve Rogers. Now I actually have a theory about this at this point in time in the trailer the music is making it sound like it's a really big climactic part but I think it might be a little bit different. Sure of course he could be jabbing into him saying, look, hey, you're not Steve Rogers' Captain America. He had the super soldier serum. He was a great American hero. And you don't have the super soldier serum. You're not like him. You are weaker than him. Sure, it could be that, but I think it might be President Ross trying to tell Sam that he should take what they have now, which could be a new version of a super soldier serum, because if he wants to be Captain America, if he wants to lead a new Avengers team, he's going to need it because you're not Steve Rogers. You don't have the super soldier serum, Sam but you should. But of course, it seems like he is never going to take the super soldier serum. We've kind of went down this road before and he says, you're right, I'm not. And then we get a scene of him flying through some jets, destroying them with his falcon wings. And from what we've heard, his new falcon wings are going to be made out of vibranium, not adamantium. I know we mentioned that before, but apparently he's going to get some vibranium wings. So maybe Wakanda is involved in Captain America Brave New World. Maybe Shuri pops up. Who knows? Maybe Okoye. But this makes sense considering the fact that he's going to have to fight a Hulk, Red Hulk, and he doesn't have the super soldier serum. So he's going to need all the help he could get. And apparently he gets that with some vibranium wings. Now at the end, they do show the White House exploding and they do show very quickly 
President Ross as Red Hulk. I believe the White House is exploding because Sam Wilson and Red Hulk are fighting. In fact, we've heard that kind of the final fight between Red Hulk and Captain America does take place in the White House. So that's why the White House is exploding. It's not getting attacked by a foreign country or anything like that. But the president has turned into Red Hulk and he is now fighting Captain America. Now, what's really interesting is that in the comics for a very long time, people don't know that Ross is Red Hulk. Like it takes them a very long time to figure it out, a long time for it to be revealed. So as we have the Red Hulk in this movie, the public might not know that it's Ross. In fact, Sam Wilson might not even know that it's Ross at first either, because I've seen some people ask, well, how is this guy going to remain president after turning into the Red Hulk and fighting Captain America and destroying the White House. Well, people might not know that it's actually President Ross. So he still could very well stick around after this movie, depending on how it ends. If people find out that President Ross is actually the Red Hulk and he went up against Captain America. Now the actual Hulk, Mark Ruffalo's Hulk, is supposed to be in this movie as well, along with what we've heard, Wong. And that is because they are supposed to establish or start to establish the new Avengers team in this movie. Ross wants Captain America to be an official military position again. And from what we've heard, it sounds like he wants Sam to develop a new Avengers team so that they could basically work for him. Now, obviously they're not going to go through with everything that he wants to do, but the new team should be established with Wong being a pretty prominent member of that group. And since this is going to heavily involve Red Hulk and Super Soldier Serum and reveal other Hulks possibly throughout the world, that's why Mark Ruffalo's Hulk will be back. And this will start the events of Avengers 5 and hopefully the solo Hulk movie. Now there are a lot of new characters and returning characters to go over, but let's first talk about Giancarlo Esposito's character, who is, according to the insider My Time to Shine Hello, George Washington Bridge, a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent, a very high-ranking member of S.H.I.E.L.D. Now, he's kind of a shady character, that's why it kind of seems like they're making him out to be a villain in this movie, but he's not exactly a villain. He does work for S.H.I.E.L.D. And what's really interesting is that a lot of people think that he could be taking over Nick Fury's position. He could be taking over for Sam Jackson. It seems like his story is kind of over after Secret Invasion, plus that show wasn't really received very well by fans, and they really did nerf Nick Fury hardcore. And Giancarlo Esposito said that he wouldn't join Marvel unless it was for a very big, prominent role. He didn't want to just enter the MCU in a one-and-done role, so this character is clearly going to be around for a while. So he very well could end up kind of taking the role of Nick Fury in the MCU moving forward. Again, it looks like he is being made to look like a villain, but I don't believe that is the case. I do believe he is going to kind of ignore President Ross's orders, but I think he's just doing what he believes is best for his country. We also have the return of Liv Tyler as Betty Ross, daughter of Thunderbolt Ross and romantic interest of Bruce Banner. And what's also really interesting is that in the comics, she is she Red Hulk. Not sure if we'll see that in the movie, but this could be also one of the reasons that Mark Ruffalo's Hulk returns. Although we have heard from some insiders that it sounds like she's not going to be in the movie a lot. In this trailer, we also have Shira Haas and Rosa Salazar, and they are going to be playing Sabra and Diamondback. Now, originally Diamondback was supposed to be a part of the Serpent Society in this film. However, we have heard that they have recently decided to take out the Serpent Society, which was unfortunate because a lot of people were really excited to see wrestler Seth Rollins. He was supposed to be in the Serpent Society in this film as well. From what we've heard, he is no longer in the film. But Diamondback in the comics was a romantic interest of Captain America. The two of them actually dated. She originally is a villain, but goes on to become kind of a regular in the comics and becomes good essentially. So they could be twisting it a little bit and they could be having Sam Wilson's Captain America end up dating her in the MCU. Sabra is kind of of a touchy subject right now because she's an Israeli state hero. And due to the Palestine and Israel conflict right now, people have been saying that if she is in the movie, they're not going to go watch the movie. There have been some reports that she's actually been cut from the movie, but this is not confirmed at this point in time. We'll have to wait and see on this. And if she is in the movie, just wait and see how they depict her. Now, in the very end, they do show us Red Hulk. And it's important to note that Red Hulk does go on to become a hero or become good in Marvel comics. So we don't really know why Red Hulk and Captain America are fighting. It could be because Thunderbolt Ross is still experimenting with Super Soldier Serum, but there is hope that the Red Hulk could go on to exist 
outside and after Captain America Brave New World and not be a one and done character. And from this little part that we saw right here, he does look really cool. He catches Captain America's shield, he throws it on the ground. They've done a lot of reshoots for this final fight, so hopefully it turned out really, really well. And hopefully we're in for a really great movie here. I will say that the trailer does look really good. And I do feel like this is indeed a Captain America movie. It feels like the past ones felt. But I would love to hear your opinion about this in the comments down below. What do you think? Are you excited about it? Do you feel like it's just another Captain America movie? Or are you still kind of worried? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on Captain America Brave New World and of course the MCU as a whole. You can find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.